Now, if you don't know what this part is, this can leave you stranded on the side of the road. We're going to cover this part and others and our top five problems that we found on our third gen Toyota Camry. Let's get into it. Number one of our top five is gonna be an air fuel ratio sensor or an oxygen sensor on this engine. Now the sensor is located right here on the exhaust manifold and this plays a critical role as far as telling the engine the amount of air and fuel mixture going into the engine. Now if this goes bad, you can end up with that check engine light. You wanna go ahead and replace the sensor. You would unbolt it from this, disconnect the connector at the other end, replace it. At that point there, you should be all set. Number two of our top five are engine mounts and torque struts. Now, normally higher mileage vehicles will end up with this issue. These torque struts are located on the top side of the engine normally, and engine mounts can be located on the front and back side. And what these do are support the engine and keep the engine from twisting around. Now, if these go bad, they can cause a clunking noise. They can cause that engine to bounce around a little bit. And you wanna go ahead and replace these parts as needed. Now, I'm gonna use a screwdriver here and show you. This one here, this torque strut was clearly torn. And when we started up this engine, it was bouncing around back and forth. And once you put it in drive, the engine would kind of clunk forward and make a noise. Once we replace this part, that noise went away. This is something you could do at home. Now, if this is a job you want to do at home, go ahead and hop over to the website at 1AAuto.com. Buy the parts you need. We'll ship them to your door fast and free. Number three of our top five is going to be the power steering pump inline leaks. Now to go ahead and access that pump and the main lines that cause that leaking are accessed through the passenger side wheel well. Go ahead and remove that wheel and go right up on the back side here and you can access the pump and the lines right here. Now the pump itself is located behind the front passenger wheel and is bolted here to the back side of the engine. Right on the top of the pump here, we have the connection where there's a banjo fitting. There's a copper washer that fits up here, and usually this will leak and run down the side of this here and all over the top of the pump. Number four is a leaking power steering rack and pinion unit. Now the symptoms of something like this here is you're gonna check for fluid around the rack and pinion bellows boots. If you're experiencing this leaking, you wanna go ahead and replace the entire rack and pinion unit to solve this problem. I'm gonna remove that clamp. On the inside here, there is another clamp, so you want to go ahead and locate the clamp head, and you can use a pry tool. You can access it from underneath or on the top here. Now, if you see that fluid leaking around that boot area, there's not much else that can be causing this here besides the rack and pinion seal leak. If you pull this boot back here, you can see that fluid leaking out. That pretty much guarantees that the seal on the rack has failed. If you're experiencing something like this here, it's best to go ahead and have this entire rack replaced and that will solve your problem. Number five is the starter. Now at this point here, this part has a sole job of cranking over the engine. Now if you're turning that key and the engine is cranking over, your starter is a functioning unit. Now if you're turning that key and you simply hear a clunking sound and it's not cranking, What's happening is the gear itself is simply kicking out of the Bendix unit and it's not cranking the engine. At that point there, it's a safe bet that the starter has failed. You know, simply want to go ahead and replace the starter. This particular vehicle is located right at the back side of the engine above the transmission. Fairly simple to get to. If you need this part or any of the parts for that Toyota Camry, go ahead and check us out at 1AAuto.com. Get those parts there and we'll ship them to you fast and free.